You ready, Jessica? Oh my gosh, I guess so. <laughs> I cry every time, like <laughs> right now. <laughs> it's, it wasn't much, it was just my time. One fourth cup of her stem cells was all it took to cure my son. Every three weeks, I was at the hospital with him for eight hours at a time, getting blood transfusions. Every night he would go to bed and he would sleep with the pump on. Ninety-five percent is is great odds, but. Anytime you hear just a 5% chance you could lose your son, um, it's, it's pretty scary. He said to me, Mama, what if I died right now? And I said, oh my gosh, Nicholas, don't ever say that. He said it again. He said, but Mama, what if I died right now? And I said, well, you're not going to die. I said, but if you did, you would go to heaven. And he looked at me and he said, do I have to use my pump and go to the hospital in heaven? And I said, nobody, you don't. And then he said to me, well then, I wanna to go to heaven. And I had to fight back the tears. And I said, buddy, I said, um, mom is not ready for you to go to heaven yet. He looked at me at three and a half years old and said, well then, how about I go and stay at the hospital and those people heal me. He basically said to me that night, mom, I wanna be cured or I wanna be in heaven. This Hi. is Jessica. Meet Jessica, your donor. Hi, how are you? Hi, how, how are, are you? you? There you are. So good. It, it's so good to see so you. Nice to meet good. you. I love you. Oh. <laughs> I love you too, bud. You are so cute. Look how big you are. How can I begin to thank someone for donating their stem cells to cure our then four-year-old son? A simple thank you doesn't seem adequate. It's hard to describe the life-changing impact your selfless act has had on our son and family. Nicholas is gonna grow up to live a normal life and I don't think that we can ever repay you enough. We thank you from the bottom of our hearts and we love you so much. Thank God you so bless much. You. Thank you. I love you guys. I wish I could hug you all. God bless you. My stepdad had blood cancer and we had actually met his donor um, who saved his life a month prior to me getting the call. And it was just the most incredible full circle thing to have a beautiful stranger, you know, give him the gift of life and our whole family that gift, you know, to be able to give it to someone else is amazing. I can't wait to meet them in person. It feels like they're like my family. Like, I just feel like I've known him forever. Nicholas, who's going? Go ahead. 